Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here shortly after our last episode. We are back at base uh, in Mertridge. Last episode we ended things off uh, just waiting for that helicopter event to uh, come about. Uh, it came, it left without incident, and we're back home now. I think to start this episode off we're going to be doing a little bit of work around base. Uh, as you can see, we're in our garden and we've got uh, a few crops to harvest here. we got some seed bearing potatoes and we got some broccoli that's ready for harvest too i think our tomatoes still have yeah a day and a half to go so let's start things off by getting a harvest in get some more food i think we are out of uh fresh meals right now so we might do some cooking today fill up our fridge again and that brings me to the second thing we're going to be doing today after we're done harvesting here we're going to be moving our kitchen up to the second floor because if I go over let me just drop this off we'll dig our furrows later let's drop that off uh, okay that's full uh, seed bag on the ground let's put those seeds in there if we go over to our kitchen we'll see that it is overflowing right now uh, this uh, container here over here and back here are all full so we're gonna be moving our kitchen up to the second floor today everything's ready to go we got some lumber up here or some logs for us to saw up and start making some bar elements I've also moved our second rain barrel collector up to the roof so we can plumb in a sink up here it's 2 30 I think we could probably get this little project done before it gets too dark. So let's uh, drop off some items here. Uh, looks like that's the last of our fresh food. This meat and cabbage roast. Let's put that in our backpack for right now. Let's drop off our harvest into this bag because we'll be bringing the fridge up here anyway. We've got our secondary bag. All right, let's um, drop our backpack for right now. Let's empty out our fridge because we can bring up our appliances first. So let's grab the cabbage and the wild egg. All of our frozen stuff, including all of our jarred vegetables, which are still all fresh. Just fast forward through that. Okay, and inside here, we'll take this stuff. So might as well bring this mini fridge up too. And we got a bunch of ice cream, which we can also fit in here. Okay. So we'll just drop this bag up top. Let's go bring up the oven. The large fridge, the small fridge, and we also have this uh, other fridge here too, this other mini fridge, so we'll bring all these things up. Fridge is the heaviest, so that will go first. And I've got the uh, rainbow collector just above here, so the sink would have to go here, I guess. Which means I think our fridge can just go here. So let's put that there. And we'll grab the mini fridge. Uh, since we have two mini fridges, I'm thinking of putting one outside by where our little barbecue area is going to be. We still have to find a barbecue, but I think that's where we'll put that. Uh, we need our hammer to pick that one up. Let's take the microwave. I need a screwdriver, so I need my backpack to pick the other ones up. Okay, so this mini fridge, I think we will put this one out here. So I think we're going to put a barbecue in that corner. So let's put that mini fridge there. Uh, we'll just drop our microwave here for the time being. Let's get our backpack back on. I 
Let's got our hammer and our screwdriver in there. Uh, we are a bit hungry now, so we can have this meat and cabbage roast. While he's eating that, refresh ourselves where we're at skill-wise. Things haven't really moved that much in the last few episodes. Uh, last few episodes we spent uh, exploring the countryside uh, between here and Rosewood. There's our weight, 83 kilograms. Still approaching two years. All right, so let's grab the oven. Yeah, let's see if we can pick this up. What the hell we level up there? I don't think anything. One of those false positives again. All right, so the oven can go, let's see. That's gonna be the uh, sink. Let's put the oven here. Uh, we still need to pick up a sink from a house too. That can go there. Okay, so we got the appliances up here. Well, let's saw up some logs now. So I got four stacks and a, a lonely log. We'll unpack one of these. And let's drop our, front, our roast pan there. Okay, so uh, we're also going to need some nails. I think I have a box of nails in here. Someone will die a painful death. And let's put that corner piece in. And then we'll just do uh, bar elements across and uh, you know what, we'll do another corner piece over here. Okay, and we'll just do some regular bar elements. And saw up some more logs. Grab another stack here. The uh, forest around us is slowly being pushed back the more we build up this base. It is all forest up here when we first got here. We've slowly been pushing back the tree line. Fill in these gaps, we might as well throw another piece there. And I guess we should probably put something in that corner too then, eh? Just to complete the look. All right, so let's unstack one more. Saw those up. Do another bar corner there. All right, cool. So there's our new and improved kitchen. Let's put away our tools. We'll move this microwave up. That can go right here. So sink will go in between the microwave and the oven. Let's grab our food, toss this back into the fridge. Okay, so this stuff can go straight to the freezer. Our fresh harvest. Starting to get tired, 6 p.m. All this stuff can go in the freezer too. Shoot, pretty much all this stuff. The egg, we can probably just keep in the fridge though. We're not gonna freeze eggs like a maniac. 
And then, uh, let's see here, we got some pickles and some frogs. Now let's toss those in the, uh, the trailer mini fridge. Lots of ice cream. Oh, okay, that is full. Well, maybe we'll have to keep the, uh, potatoes and stuff in the, uh, fridge then. Make some room, because I want to keep our jars in here, I think. I think that's more important. Yeah, let's we'll put... I'm sure we'll just cook up the rest of this stuff fairly quickly. Uh, the rabbit, though, that should go in the freezer. I do have the freezer in here, too, if need be. Okay, so let's move those back over. Maybe we'll end up with a uh, deep freeze in this base as well, then. Okay, cool, that's good. Toss that in the fridge. <clears throat> this stuff won't, <clears throat> excuse me, this stuff won't go bad. So we don't really need to put it in the fridge, but. Actually, you know what, I could put all this ice cream in the other one. Right, that frees up some more space there too. All right, so we just need a, uh, a sink now. Um, uh, we probably have enough time to run into town and grab one. It's pretty tired, but... We'll just hit up one of the first houses on the outskirts. So, uh, next thing... Ooh, there's actually zombies there. Uh, and I dropped all my weapons. Let's grab something from the uh, trunk here. Take care of these two. Uh, but yeah, the next thing on the list then, after we're done with the kitchen, is going to be our car. We're either going to um, just replace some parts on here or get a brand new car. Because there is that one survivor car uh, in the parking lot of the dormitory. I wouldn't mind just fixing this thing up, though. It's served us fairly well. It's quite quiet. Alright, let's just grab something from this house. sink they got in here. That'll do. If we can pick it up. And we got it. Actually, this is a kind of a nicer fridge. Hmm. We got some pretty ugly appliances right now. You know what? I might swap out our stove for this. Modern oven. I wouldn't mind grabbing that modern fridge too. Or steel fridge. Let's throw some stuff in the car. Uh, oh yeah, we still have a generator in here too. Let's toss that there. Um, sink, put that in the trunk. Not sure how we're gonna pick this up though. It's a ways 40. I'm gonna have to drop our backpack, I think. But I don't have anywhere to drop our... Okay, well, we'll get the fridge later. Hmm. 
Main thing was the sink. kitchen finished up. Oh, I need a light up here too. That I could have grabbed. Put that in, we'll plummet. Okay, we got uh, water upstairs now. And let's disassemble this green oven. We need a propane torch. Easily grab that. Do I have my mask with me? I don't. Where the hell did I put my mask? There. All right, let's get rid of this monstrosity. Okay, clean that up. Should move our sledgehammer. stuff back on. And put down our new modern oven. Yeah, it looks better. Yeah, we'll get this other one replaced here. Uh, that will look quite nice. All right, gotta get to bed here. I'll just put this sledgehammer away. We'll put our metal sheets away. And our torch. Uh, let's keep the mask with our welding stuff. That makes more sense. And I don't need all these nails. Alright, is that better? I think so. So, car. Car parts in the morning. And maybe we keep an eye out for a bed so we can actually get him sleeping in a bed again. He's been sleeping in this tent for quite a while. And we need to cook some meals. We're a bit peckish. We're going to go a bit hungry. But uh, let's do maybe a quick meal in the morning. And then we'll do our car stuff. Okay. Let's cook up a meal. Let's get our roasting pan. We'll get uh, some of this cabbage. That's going to go bad soon. Potatoes, some mushroom, broccoli, and let's butcher one of these rabbits. Just thaw that out. I got a lot of food to uh, bring up from downstairs. Apparently, I don't have a knife. But I'll bring all the food up in between episodes. You don't need to be doing that on camera. Okay. 
Jeez, that takes a long time. Okay. I'll go grab a knife from downstairs. Use our stone knife. And just in case I have leftovers, I'll turn that into a stir fry. Okay. Uh, let's slice up our frog. Let's butcher the rabbit. And let's make a roast. So we'll do some rabbit meat. And some mushrooms. Cabbage. Put some frog meat in there. Some potato. You know what? I might throw in. Can I throw in an egg too? Wild egg. Okay, cool. We'll cook that up. And I do have extra stuff. So we'll make a stir fry. That's probably a pretty big rabbit, right? Yeah, it's still got 79 hunger there. Just use up these ingredients. Okay, that's all we've got there. The rest of the stuff goes back in the fridge. For the next meal. And while that's cooking, let's clean up some of this mess. Just toss that over in this corner. Got a ways. Let's move the slumber out of the way. Okay, that's almost done. We could probably put our bed back in this corner uh, if we find one. Or when we find one. There's plenty of beds in town. Okay, cool. Fill up our water. And what do we want to have here? Maybe something a little bit fattier. Stop our weight loss. Our roast. See if that does it. Not quite, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, meals. What well, I'm gonna transfer this stuff over to this one. So this mini fridge will just be for our meals. We'll keep the uh, roast on us. Oh, but we're full. I think we can drop off some weapons here. Okay, so let's get rid of one of these hand axes. We can drop off the pipe wrench since we're using night sticks recently. Let's drop our wood axe. I think I've got a fire axe in the car that we'll use instead. And... Some extra. I got five bottles of water. I don't think I need that much. All right, let's drop this wire. We'll combine those glue. Our loot bag. Back up pair of gloves. Let's combine that thread. 
Okay, I don't need all this water. Let's, let's just have two backups in the in our bag. Okay. And pour that one into the other. Save a whopping point one. Point two. Point three. So worth it. And I might actually leave the uh, garden fork here if we're going to use a fire axe today. I could go with a spear. That one's almost broken. I think I have another uh, fire axe. I think these have all been repaired once. There should be room in our backpack now for that. Under 14 kilograms looks pretty good. All right, let's see if there is an axe in here. Uh, there is, but it is quite low. So let's take that. We'll repair it. With some wood glue. And let's pull out our lug wrench and our jack. As we will be harvesting some car parts today. Okay, so we're working uh, almost a full tank of gas. We got that filled up at the end of the last episode. Should last us several days. There is a car parked up here that I noticed had some performance tires on it. And that's one of the things we do need to replace. Our Three of our tires. One's really bad, but we could use a few more. So let's see if this will be the right, the right match for us. We'll get the car repaired up and then we'll go take a look at that uh, survivor vehicle. And speaking of vehicles, we are in the uh, 41.50 patch, which has added the uh, Spiffo Secret Sauce 2, which allows or enables zombies to crawl underneath cars. So no longer are cars uh, an invincible, impenetrable barricade. I think that's a good change. Uh, that will mean that tactics like surrounding a uh, emergency vehicle with cars like we did over at the mall parking lot um, to protect that emergency vehicle, that will no longer work because they'll just be able to crawl underneath. Uh, we've never really used cars as, well, maybe, maybe once or twice in previous seasons, cars as barricades to protect our base. Uh, but you won't be able to do that either anymore. So yeah, this car does have performance tires uh, so we are going to grab those it's also got performance suspension that's in half decent shape and I think one of our suspension needs to be replaced so you know what we could do instead of doing it here can I tow from the, uh, the back of a car or does it have to be the front can we just tow this back to our base to work on? I haven't really done towing in a while. I have a feeling it might have to be the front of the car. What that little box was. 
Oh no. I can attach it from the back, okay. Alright, well. Let's just take this home and work on it there. Oh my god. <laughs> the Masterson is not a towing vehicle. Come on. Especially once I get off the, uh, the pavement. Come on, there we go. Straighten it out. Okay, I will suffer through this. You guys don't have to. We will cut back at the base and we'll... Man, this is so, so inefficient. And we'll uh, swap out some car parts. Okay. After that struggle. Oh, man. You know what would be much more efficient? Using the ambulance. We actually have a vehicle that is capable of this. Let's detach that. I think I burned through a fair bit of gas there. So we're now down to a three quarter tank. All right, hold on. I'm gonna use the ambulance just to position this off the road. Uh, would have been much more efficient just to do it at the site. Where's the fun in that? Okay, I wanna, there we go. Attach that. Bring my UI back up in a minute. Turn this around. Okay. Oh, that was an ordeal. Okay, get my UI back up here. There we go. Okay, so if we want any more cars to bring back, we're going to use the uh, ambulance going forward. So we will pull off the tire. We'll grab that suspension. Pull off this tire. Go to our car. Okay, so we want to replace this one for sure. Uh, there's the one suspension that's at 58%, so we want to replace that. But we want to focus on our front two tires, I guess, first. So let's put that performance one there. And uninstall this. Performance, 73%. Okay, let's get rid of these tires over here. And there's our suspension. Okay. All right, we'll swap this one out. A little bit better. That's just a regular tire. Okay, so uh, we still want, I guess, two more performance tires so we can replace both our back ones. And if we find uh, some performance brakes, that would be good. So suspension's all right. And let's get rid of this. 
suspension up here. Uh, okay, we're gonna put this stuff back in now. For the time being, we're okay. Uh, oh, actually, one last thing. Uh, our passenger window is pretty busted up. Or, sorry, our driver's side window. So let's take that one. And let's pull that off. Fifty percent. There we go. Okay, got that done. Let's go check out the survivor vehicle now. From what I remember it was locked, so we're gonna have to smash a window and risk there being an alarm. Or, where am I going? We could just leave things as they are with our car now. But we'd like to see exactly what that car was again, at the very least. All right, so let's just park this here. Get our axe out. There's the car right there. And that looks more like a sports car than our Masterson. I think it's a sports car. Uh, yeah, a sports car, a uh, Primani. Or Primini. Regular brakes, regular suspension, regular tires. Loudness 54, engine quality 38. You know what? That's not that good. I mean, it's good condition, but uh, the parts are no better than ours, and it's quite a bit louder than our car. And the engine quality is shite. So I don't think that's worth it. Let's take another look at these. See if there's performance brakes on any of these. I doubt these will have performance tires. Value tire, regular brake. That's pretty. Uh, the Masterson, I think, is just like the best car for uh, loudness. Regular brake, regular suspension, tires are crap. Average muffler. Uh, we did pull off a. Um, I think that's a performance muffler there that we pulled off. Left on the ground. I think our muffler is doing okay right now. Yeah, 36. Oh, this one has performance brakes. And performance suspension. Okay, well we could uh, swap out uh, three of our brakes for performance parts. Let's take a quick look at this one over here. Performance suspension. Oh, this one has performance tires. Okay. And a performance muffler. Cool. Well, that's what we're gonna grab then. We're gonna bring the car in here and steal some parts from these. That's the game plan. Uh, if I'm going to drive over here, though, we're going to attract uh, a fair bit of attention, so. Let's clear this 
grouping out. And we're a bit hungry too, so we can have the rest of our roast. Might as well just call him over to us. to see the, uh, the zombies crawling underneath the car. I think we're going to have to set up a car, though, um, across an entranceway. So it's the only way the zombies can get to us. Or else I'm assuming that they would um, prefer to just pathfind their way around the car. Oh, and there's this shotgun here, too, that we... Uh, I haven't picked up. I don't need that now. Okay, let's go grab our car. Uh, while we're heading over there, we'll finish off this roast. It's still fresh. Not warm, though. Uh, I might have to take care of this group here, too. They're close enough to hear us. Just take your time. And yeah, we're getting a bit tired. Okay, oh, and we're a bit exhausted too. Hard day's work. Okay, so after this, uh, it'll just be our hood and doors that are going to be in shite condition. But maybe we can uh, take the hood off of the sports car? I feel like now that they are letting us repair hoods, they should let us reinforce them with extra sheets of metal. Because the hood condition just goes so quickly. I mean, it makes sense if you're running over bodies, hitting bodies all the time, smashing into trees, of course your hood's going to be busted up. Okay, so which one was this again? Uh, this is the performance breaks. Okay. Oh yeah, right. I need my tools. <laughs> Jesus. You guys heard my car from that far away? I thought I had a quiet car. What happened? Looks like we're probably going to be sleeping in the dormitory tonight. Probably doing our car repairs in the morning. Well, they stopped coming. Maybe I can do this without them getting too close. Yeah, if they stay over there, we're fine. Yeah, we're good. They've decided to group up already. Okay, so 81%, 61%, 74%. I think that's still going to be better than our regular breaks. 
And maybe I should take the suspension too. Some backup. Yeah, let's just grab uh, all the stuff. All right, so let's drop our tire. Don't need that. We're getting some more mechanic skill here as well. We might actually get our level seven. No, we're still a ways away. We're not gonna get that, hey? I think we're too far away. But we'll be closer. Yeah, I'm gonna snag the suspension. Could use a cigarette here once we're done. Okay, that was a crappy muffler. Putting this car up on blocks. Okay, so we're good here. Do you want to snag the headlights and tail lights? Might as well. Ah, oh, for that matter, we could take the hood. Since we need that. I mean, we could really, uh, take the uh, the windows too. You know what? We're going to just strip this car right down. Uh, okay, rear left window. No, I need the uh, front windows. Okay, we're going to take these out. Uh, hold on, the left. Yeah, I want the left door. Might as well take the, uh, what the hell? Let's take the right window out. And the right, ah, oh, the right door is crap. Meh. Meh. Okay, we'll keep that one. Let's toss this. Rear window. Do I actually need that one? I think our rear windows were fine. I don't even know if we can replace our rear windows, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, hood. Take that off. Install that. Does our trunk lid actually do anything? We can't lock it. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, though. Uh, let's see. Let's replace our left door. So take out the window. Yeah, we don't have back windows on this one. Even though we do, we can't replace them. And instead of using our propane and uh, sheet metal to re repair this door, we'll just replace it whole. Looks a bit better. Drop that broken hood. Drop that door. We've already repaired it once anyway. Light balls. We'll put our spare window back here. Let's have a smoke. And we either put our stuff in now or we uh, go get some rest. I think I might get some rest. Continue this in the morning. 
So let's just drop that stuff here. We don't need that. Okay, let's go find a room in the uh, dorm here. We'll go up to the second or the third floor. Try the second floor first. I just need a room with uh, a door intact. This one intact? Nope. I remember we saw there were a few rooms. I think up on the top floor was where most of the intact doors were. Well, I hear one intact works. I hear thumping. Let's check up here. Where was it? Just go right to the top. 920. We're just tired. So if need be, we can still fight. Okay. That'll do. Okay. Let's get to sleep here. And get up bright and early. Finish the work on our car. All right, no commotion during the night. It's appreciated. Uh, we might as well fill up our water since we're here. And we've got an empty bottle. All right, so we got brakes to replace, and we got some better quality. Uh, suspension we could throw on and then we got performance tires on that car there so I might as well grab the performance tires or no hold on let's pull these tires off first okay so our front two 72% 84% that one's a regular so let's take that off and that one's low condition so we'll take that off That's 79%, 73, 69, 65. So I might want to replace our front two suspension then as well. So you know what? Let's pull off all the tires. We're going to be doing work on all all the uh, components here. So I'll just have to deal with the sore back for the time being. Okay, so regular tire, get rid of that. Uh, 72, 84, 52, let's get rid of that one. Okay, let's go grab our tires from here. That group is uh, continuing to move further away. Oh, and that is a large group there. Okay, so we got three good tires here. 88, 83, so we'll take these front two. This guy's got performance all the way around as well. 89% suspension there, let's grab that. 75, 76, we'll leave those. Or no, I think I need one more performance break, right? Okay. Okay. Let's 
we got another hood we can come back for here. Take the muffler. You know what? I'm just going to grab this trunk lid. Let's swap ours out. No one's coming from that. And you know what? This is a better window. We might as well take that too. Okay, carrying 127 kilograms. That's got to hurt. Okay, so, uh, start with the trunk lid. Let's get rid of that. Put on the good one. Drop the busted one. Uninstall that brake. Performance, 80%. Hold on. Install performance. I won't install that. Huh? Looks like I'm carrying too much stuff. 73 cents. Okay, let's install this. Not sure why I couldn't install that one. Okay, so that's on. Let's try this again. Performance brake standard. Wait a minute. Huh? Okay. Tire. Alright, what else we have here for parts? Rigger brake standard shock that. Our muffler's still fine. Let's just put this in the trunk. It'll just fit. And then we got our suspension, which is 89. So I think... Yeah, let's swap out this one. Like, why does it say we have so many performance suspensions? Oh, is it because there's ones on the ground? Oh, because all the stuff I dropped last night. Right, right, right. Okay, hold on. I was confusing myself. Okay, put that down. Uh, the window we're going to keep. Can that fit back here? Or should I just put it on? That's full. All right, we're just going to throw this on then. And on the uh, driver's side. That's more important. Okay. For that. And I still have two tires. Is that right? I have three. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Uh, Brake 76, 78, 74. So all mid 70s. We got three performance brakes here. One of which is better. Uh, I might just hold on to that. Uh, I can't pick up anything because I'm carrying too much stuff. Well, uh, is that then good enough? Now 
No, I do want to replace the suspension. Okay, let's drop these for a moment. Okay, performance suspension to replace that one. I mean, we're just going to replace... Yeah, these back two as well then. So I gotta pull this one off again. Oh well, we're getting uh, the mechanic XP. So this should drive a lot smoother. A lot better overall with all our new parts. And that's a good thing. All right, we can put on this other front tire here. That one's ready to go. Let's install that. Install that. Reinstall. Reinstall. Uninstall. And reinstall. Okay, now we can put our last two tires on. I think I'll keep the 70% uh, suspension. And the 80% brake. And I think I will also keep this window as a backup. So we'll put this on here for now. Grab our tires. Uh, we're going to keep all three of these. We'll put on the 77 and 83. And keep the other one as a backup. Exciting times, mechanic work. For like half of the episode. But hopefully you appreciate the uh, change of pace. Oh man, they're getting close. Okay, let's grab this. Quickly throw that on. Worked up quite the appetite. There we go. Looking a lot better, hey? From what it was before at the start of the episode. Okay, and that tire, let's just toss in the back. Nope, can't fit it back there. Okay, well. well let's just head home. Through the fog, it's been uh, quite the day, quite a couple days here. We made some good progress on the base, got our kitchen moved upstairs. We had a good harvest at the start of the episode. We'll be able to cook some more meals now. And we fixed up our car. We opted out of the uh, survivor car, because it really it's not that much better to be faster than our car, but that's about it. Uh, and instead, we opted to uh, fix up the old Masterson. So this should continue to drive us along on our quest for domination on the map. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Project Zomboy to come. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Comments down below. And until next time. I'll talk to you all later.